Hey guys, Ballistic here, and uh, welcome to some Battlefield Bad Company 2 Vietnam multiplayer gameplay. Uh, I, I just thought, you know, yesterday or whatever it was, I just thought to myself, why not play some Battlefield Bad Company 2, record it, see what happens. This was the first game, the very first game. There's me failing. Uh, anyway, th this is the very first game, and I got a really good one. Ended up 21 and 7. Anyway, I don't want to talk about the actual gameplay, apart from certain things like that, where that guy just couldn't shoot the shit. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, anyway, I wanted to talk about how uh, how disappointed I was when I heard about Battlefield 4 compared to other people, and how hyped they were. Now, the reason for this is, I loved Battlefield Bad Company 2, which is the game that I'm playing right now. This, this came out March 2010, and it's still, it's still a great game. In my opinion, it's, it's, it's my favourite Battlefield game. I mean, I played a bit of Battlefield 2 and that was pretty good. But to me, this, the sound, you know, the, 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 uh, the game modes, the maps. I just love this game. It feels so good. And... When Battlefield 3 came out, it just couldn't give me that. Battlefield 3. All the gun sounds really sounded the same to me. And it just didn't have the depth, like the explosions when they were going off. They just didn't feel the same. And this is once again the same guy as before who couldn't shoot the shit. He shows me again how crap he is. Um, yeah, he needs to work on his aim. Anyway. Um... I just, there must be something on that going on between EA and DICE or something, because for them to make Battlefield 4 means, you know, it makes me think maybe uh, Bad Company 2, Bad Company 3 is never going to come out, because, uh, you know, it's a shame it never does, because, you know, e even the single player, the, the single player of Battlefield 3, I mean, it's not like the single player of games matter much anymore, according to developers, but at least the campaign of Bad Company 3 had some character. The the, the four-man squad with the Sarge, the guy with the classes, the, the guy from Texas, and of course, you. I don't know, I forget their names already, I have no idea why. And yet, I'm, tr I'm trying to tell you how, how much better the story felt, and I can't even remember their names. But anyway, at least you had four characters who were funny and actually made poke jokes at, at games like Modern Warfare 2. But they were like, <laughs> going on about how gay heartbeat sensors on guns were and, you know, sleds, snow sleds compared to quad bikes and all that. <laughs> uh, funny stuff. Yeah, it's just... Ba Battlefield 4 is going to be a disappointment to me. And that's me going on a rampage right there. Good old RPD. Love this thing. I'm about to hop in the tank and get three more kills. Anyway, um, I just, I did not like bad Battlefield 3. Battlefield 3 just felt like it had nothing in it. The, the, the sound just didn't, the sound in, in, Battle, in Bad Company 2 immersed me. It absolutely immersed me. I loved the sound. The sound was one of the main reasons I played the game. It was amazing. Everyone yelling, everyone shooting. Every now, yes, that's in Battlefield 3, but it's just not pulled off as well. As DICE did. And really, I, I this, this is making me dislike EA even more, if that's even possible. Because I think DICE is now working on Battlefront, the new Star Wars Battlefront game. And, you know, I don't mind. There's no there's no complaints there either. But I really want a bad Company 3, and it would be a shame if they never made it. Because, you know, EA is so... EA is so much entrenched in Battlefield, because obviously they're the creators of it. They created the first few, and then some other developers created some other ones, like, like Bad Company was mostly made by DICE. Uh, but EA in the last few years, yeah, everybody's... Everybody, including myself, has come to sort of resent them. 
because good ca good games like Bad Company 3 are being pushed aside for, you know, what I think will be a mediocre game like Battlefield 4. I don't want another bad I don't I don't want another Battlefield 3. I want a Bad Company 3. I want another Bad Company 2. Bad Company 2 was amazing. I'm still playing this game three years and three months after it came out. It's amazing. <laughs> There's me getting pwned. Because my teammates were like, let's let an engineer go behind the lines. Yeah, this is just me whining, but I I think some would agree. Battlefield 3 just... It was okay. It, it was... Yeah just didn't have the feel like for some reason Battle Bad Company 2 looks better than Battlefield 3 in my opinion this is my opinion but Bad Company 2 looks better than Bad than Battlefield 3 and everyone was going on about Battlefield 3 you know being the best graphics and having to have the, the best computer yet here we are in Bad Company 2 and it looks better at least to me I, I don't know okay I played 20 hours of the Battlefield 3 beta and then 20 more hours of the main game and it just didn't cap. Uh, it just didn't, you know, I didn't like it as much. It just didn't feel right. And then I just went back to this. Such a great game. And uh, I also like to play the uh, Vietnam, the Vietnam uh, DLC. That guy just owned both of my both my teammate and me because my teammate wasn't. I was expecting him to look for shit like that, but anyway, that's just me. What was I talking about? Oh shit! Oh shit! I was talking about ah yes, Battlefield Three. It didn't keep my attention as long. I just didn't like. I, I didn't like the feel of it, as I've said multiple times. I didn't like the classes anymore. Like, the the assaults. Now I had a medic pack and all that, and I was like, uh, this kind of, this kind of annoys me a bit. Uh, why'd they have to change that up? It worked well in in uh, battle, battle, um, Bad Company 2. Uh, the tactical lights, they were really weird. I was just like, okay blind your enemies <laughs> uh, man. The, the maps just didn't feel as good either to me but anyway it was just for me uh, a, a, a lot of people seem to just move on from bad company 2 and you know not think about it not think about bad company 2 I did I, I, I loved this game and uh, no and hardly anybody else seem to want to go back to battle to bad company 2 I mean it's not like it's not like battlefield brought battlefield 3 brought much new this is all just my opinion and I'm crapping on right now I think I think my main points are down and I'm pretty much done speaking about how um, I don't want to see battlefield 4 I want to see bad company 3 first you know because I already saw that that letdown, at least, at least to me, it was a letdown for me. Um, Battlefield Three. I don't want to see another Battlefield Three. I want to see another Bad Company Two. That's just me. Uh, anyway, for the rest of this commentary, I'll either stay silent or comment every now and again because I don't know what else to crap on about. Oh yeah, I may as well crap on about this. I recently, well, actually, in in a in a few days, I am going to begin my first my, my diploma of interactive digital media. It will be at an Australian institution called TAFE, which is a tertiary thing. I can't really describe what it means, but I'm getting a diploma and a certificate at the same time in six months, and then moving on to a university, learning interactive digital media and coding and creating stuff. In all facets of like, I, me and a friend, we want to move on to game development. And we were thinking of this uber realistic 
game, but I'm not going to give too much away about it, obviously. Um, it's not even in the works yet, and I'm not sure if any ideas will be stolen. I mean, it's not like anyone watches my videos, but you know, confidentiality for the win. As well as spraying with a PPSH. I swear, nobody uses the Max. Or the... Or the uh, Uzi. PPSH. I love, I love the PPSH and stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, this. So that means the end of this year, which next year will be 2014, then another three years of university, so 2017 by the time I get out of there. And uh, yeah, then I'll have a diploma, a certificate, as well as some sort of thing. I'm not sure exactly what it is for university, but some sort of higher education qualifications so basically I think I'll become a, a, like a coder a scripter content creator sort of thing which sounds exciting but also daunting at the same time because making games is fairly you know it, it's fairly in depth you gotta be so you gotta be so minute about it and how how you're making it But I, I really am looking forward to it, and it's a it's a future that I think I will like. Because it has something to do with computers, it has something to do with creating something, and it comes to life in front of me when I'm creating. And my ideas, and my friends' ideas, and you know, everything just comes together. Yeah, that's, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, this game's for a few minutes from over. We're just making our way up the hill. Loving the PPSH and the RPK. I changed the RPK soon enough. I just wanted this to take out a few tanks. I think in this match I took out three tanks. Two or three. I think I got an assist for one, so probably two. So with this course, uh, that probably means much less videos. I know I haven't been coming up with much recently, but... Yeah, no. These days, you don't get much from YouTube. I remember starting up my other channel, my first channel, my first YouTube channel in 2007. I got views relatively easily. Um, I was I wasn't really making any gameplay videos. I was just making random stuff. But it seemed it seemed to be much easier in the uh, in the early days of YouTube because now all, all you see in the in the recommended channels bar, recommended for you, you'll, you'll see channels with 500,000 plus subscribers. And they're the ones that are already heavily entrenched in, entrenched in YouTube. And guys like me, we don't have much of a chance unless we're really special or something. So with YouTube, I think I just, I just did this because I thought, why not? You know, why not see if I can entertain anyone else? This, of course, isn't isn't as entertaining as some of my other videos because they're more about this one's a more serious video about topics um, I, some of my other videos I'd like to think are quite comedic or at least are comedic to me and I know that some other people have laughed at them um, I'm just not sure I create what I like I don't I don't like to be uh, like I don't I don't like looking at other people's videos and think I'm gonna try to be like him because that just you know that's not me that's not me <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so yeah, YouTube, it's a hard gig. Basically, I got into this thinking, you know, just a few laughs between friends. I've gotten a few subscribers that, uh, that I don't know directly, but that's very slim. Otherwise, YouTube, you're not getting anything from it unless you're really special or you get a lucky break. Or you started out in like 06 or 07. Like I did with my other channel, but didn't really give much effort towards it. Anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done. I don't know what I want to talk about here. And so is this game. I'm not sure if I talked about moving up with the tank before. Uh, when, I, when I died as the engineer, before that I was moving up with the tank. I just saw that as my opportunity to move up the hill and make a few extra yards. 
In the end it didn't work out, but and they did cap two of the flags and three of the flags at one time. But we got enough points early on enough to actually, you know, make up for that. And actually win. Close game though, really close game. And I ended up 21 and 7. Two tank kills, one tank assist, few assists, few revives, some heals, few resupplies when I dropped that ammo thing. Not many though. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you later. Peace.